चैनल Select the subject Advanced Accounting New. Select the videos of Partnership Accounts. Be perfect, then you can understand each and every problem. Now, before starting the nineteenth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems, which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of this nineteenth problem, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, <clears throat> see the nineteenth. Arun, Tarun, and Varun were carrying on a business in partnership, sharing profits in the ratio of five is to three is to two respectively. So, three partners are there: Arun, Tarun, and Varun. <clears throat> the profit sharing ratio five is to three is to two. On thirty first December two thousand three, their balance sheet stood as follows: liability side, capital accounts, Arun, Tarun, and Varun. Then trade creditors and outstanding expenses. Two outside liabilities are there. Freehold premises, furniture and fittings, stock, debtors, bills receivable, cash at bank. These are the assets. On the following terms, Varun retired on thirty first December two thousand three. Here, one of the partner, the third partner, Varun, is retiring on this date. So what are the terms? Uh, freehold premises to be increased by twenty percent. So presently, freehold premises value seventy five thousand. So twenty percent we have to increase. Increase means again we debit the asset. Freehold premises account debit, revaluation account credit. Furniture and fitting to be depreciated by ten percent. Here this asset furniture has to be depreciated. So we credit furniture. Revaluation account debit, furniture account credit. Provide for doubtful debts at five percent on trade debtors to be created. Provision for doubtful debts to be created. Revaluation account debit, provision for doubtful debts credit. The agreed value of firm's goodwill is sixty thousand. Whenever a partner retires, adjustment regarding goodwill has to be done. The firm's goodwill is sixty thousand. The amount finally due to Varun be paid immediately. Previous problem: the amount due to the retiring partner was transferred to his loan account. If nothing is given, we transfer it to the loan account. But in this problem, the retiring partner's account is settled. Whatever amount due to Varun is immediately paid off. Now Varun names will not come in the balance sheet. Now Arun and Tarun bring twenty thousand each to facilitate payment, because in the bank we don't have sufficient funds to make the payment to retiring partner. So the continuing partner have agreed to bring twenty thousand cash. Arun will bring twenty thousand and Tarun will also bring twenty thousand cash, so that they can be able to make the settlement or payment to the retiring. Then Arun and Tarun agreed to share future profits in the ratio of three is to two respectively. So whenever the old ratio and new ratio are given, we have to calculate either sacrificing ratio or gaining ratio. Sacrificing ratio we require at the in the case of admission of a partner, and gaining ratio we require in the case of retiring of a partner. So it's a retirement partner. Uh, problem problem on retirement so we have to calculate the gaining ratio uh, from the above information prepare necessary accounts and draw the new balance sheet necessary accounts means we have to make the revaluation account we have to make the bank account and also we have to make the partners capital account then we make the balance sheet but before that we calculate the gaining ratio why we require gaining ratio because the goodwill payable to the retiring partner should be adjusted 
in the capital account of the continuing partner. Here retiring partner is Varun and continuing partners are Arun and Tarun. So how to adjust the goodwill? Whatever goodwill due to Varun will be credited. Varun's capital account will be credited and the continuing partners Arun and Tarun's capital account will be debited. So how they will share on the basis of gaining ratio. So first we calculate gaining ratio. Old profit sharing ratio of Arun, Tarun and Varun are 5 is to 3 is to 2. This is the old ratio. And the Varun retires new ratio of Arun and Tarun will be 3 is to 2. Previous problem new ratio was not given. Here new ratio is already given in the problem. Therefore we calculate gaining ratio. So gaining ratio formula new ratio minus old ratio. It is exactly opposite to sacrificing ratio. In sacrificing ratio, old ratio minus new ratio. Gaining ratio, new ratio minus old ratio. So here Arun, the new ratio is 3 by 5 and the old ratio is 5 by 10. Right? LCM if you take 10, 5 how many times cuts 10? 2 times. 5 2 is a 10. 2 into 3, 6. 10 how many times cuts 10? 1 time. 1 into 5 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1 by 10. Similarly, Tarun, the new ratio of Tarun is 2 by 5 and the old ratio of Tarun is 3 by 10. So LCM if you take 10, 5 how many times cuts 10? 2 times, 2 2 is a 4. 10 how many times cuts 10? 1 time, 1 3 is a 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1 by 10. So ratio, gaining ratio will be 1 is to 1, equal. That means whatever goodwill is paid to Varun, that will be shared by Arun and Tarun equally. Now, the goodwill of retiring partner should be adjusted in the continuing partner in the ratio of 1 is to 1. That is equally. Now, goodwill of the firm is 60,000. And what is the share of retiring partner Varun? Varun's share is 2 by 10. Right? So, 60,000 into 2 by 10, it comes to 12,000. That means 12,000 goodwill has to be paid to Varun. And this 12,000 will be shared equally. That means 6,000, 6,000 by Arun and Tarun. The entry will be Arun's capital account debtor 6,000. Tarun's capital account debtor 6,000. To Varun's capital 12,000. That is the entry for adjustment of goodwill. So whenever you are watching my videos, I suggest you always keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready. Whenever important thing I tell, immediately note it down. Maintain the running notes, then only you can be able to remember. Now, revaluation. The adjustments are here. Freehold premises is to be increased by 20%. So freehold premises 75,000. 20% of 75,000 is 15,000. 15,000 premises, uh, freehold premises we have to increase. So entry will be freehold premises account debit, revaluation account credit. So revaluation account credit side, freehold premises 15,000. 20% of 75,000. Second, furniture and fixture are to be depreciated by 10%. Revaluation account debit, furniture account credit. So revaluation account debit side, furniture and printing. 10% of 22,550. That comes to 22,255. Next comes provision for doubtful debts. The entry will be revaluation account debit, provision for doubtful debts, credit. So debit side provision for doubtful debts. 5% of debtors, 29,600 into 5%. You will get 1480. That's all. All the adjustment regarding revaluation completed. Not take the total on the credit side. Credit side is more, 15,000. When credit side is more, there is a profit. When debit side is more, there is a loss. So here the credit side is 15,000. So from 15,000 minus 2255 minus 1480. So balancing figure you are getting 11,265. This is the profit on realize revaluation. Now this profit will be shared by all the partners including retiring partner in the old profit sharing ratio. The old profit sharing ratio 5 by 10, 3 by 10, 2 by 10. 
तो 11,265 into 5 by 10. 11 by 11,265 3 by 10, 2 by 10. This is Arun, Tarun, Varun. So this is the share of profit of revaluation. That's all. Now I'm coming to the bank account. But before bank account, we'll see whatever is the capital account, capital account of the partners. First of all, the partners capital account shows 1,60,035,000. Before making any adjustment, the balance sheet shows capital 1 lakh rupees Arun, 60,000 Tarun and 35,000 Varun. Now credit side, we will take revaluation profit. Entry will be revaluation account debit, partners capital account credit. So how much profit here we have calculated 5633. So 5633, 33. 80 and 2252 from here I have taken now apart from that the goodwill how much is the goodwill due to the retiring partner Varun 12,000 out of 12,000 6,000 is will share will bear by Arun and 6,000 by Tarun so Varun's capital should be credited by 12,000 how Arun's capital 6,000 Tarun's capital 6,000 6,000 plus 6,000, 12,000 is credited in the account of Varun, right? Now, Arun's and Tarun's account will be debited. So here you write on Varun's capital. Varun's capital, Arun's capital uh, uh, column 6,000, Tarun's capital column 6,000. This is the entry for adjustment of goodwill. So if you want, you can write the, I mean, uh, Entry for adjustment of goodwill uh, remaining or continuing partners. Continuing partners are Arun. Arun's capital debit 6000 and the Tarun's capital debit 6000 to Varun's capital 12000. This is the entry for adjustment of goodwill. So here Arun and Tarun. Capital should be debited. So here debit side 6,000. Opposite name is Varun. And Varun's capital is credited by Arun's capital 6,000 by Tarun's capital 6,000. That's what I have done here. Here 6,000, 6,000 are credited. Right? Here 6,000, 6,000 debited. That's all. Now, it is given in the problem that whatever amount are due Whatever amount due to the retiring partner is paid off. For paying off, 20,000 cash is being brought by the continuing partners. Arun has brought 20,000. Tarun has brought 20,000. When further capital is introduced, the entry will be bank account debit, Arun's capital credit, Tarun's capital credit. So credit side by bank, 20,000 Arun, 20,000 Tarun. Now we have sufficient funds. From this fund, whatever amount due to Varun will be paid off. So here, Varun's account credit side total 49,252. 49,252 has to be paid to the retiring partner Varun. Right? Now here, 49,252. Here, 49,252 to bank. The entry for payment is Varun's capital account debit, bank account credit. So Varun's capital account is debited 49,252 and bank account is created here bank account created by Varun's capital 49,252 denoting that amount is paid right now remaining Arun's capital credit side total 125,633 from 125,633 minus 6,119,633 this is the capital of Arun after making all adjustments now in the balance sheet Arun's capital will come as 119,633 similarly for Tarun Tarun's credit side 83,380 from 83,380 minus 6,000 we had 77,380 so new capital of Tarun after making all adjustments come to 77,380 and now these amounts will come in the balance sheet now before balance sheet we will see what is the fund available in bank Balance brought down 24,635 given in the balance sheet. In the problem, it is given bank balance 24,635. 
तो फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम आई हैव टेकन दिस 24 635 टू बैलेंस प्रॉब्लम नाउ फॉर मेकिंग द पेमेंट टू द रिटायरिंग पार्टनर द कंटिन्यूइंग पार्टनर हैज ब्रॉट 20000 कैश तो एंट्री विल बी बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू अरुण्स कैपिटल टू तरुण्स कैपिटल तो बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट साइड टू अरुण्स कैपिटल टू तरुण्स कैपिटल राइट ओवर now total on the debit side is 64 635 from 64 635 amount is paid to the retiring partner varun how much amount paid 49 to 52 so after making the payment what is the balance available in bank 15383 so 15383 is the bank balance after making all the adjustments now this balance 15383 will appear in the balance sheet on asset side now you can see the balance sheet. By seeing the old balance sheet, we can make the new balance sheet. Trade creditors 33,880. We have not made any changes regarding trade creditors. So whatever 33,880 is that same 33,880 I have taken. Then outstanding expenses 2745. No change at all. 2745. Capital accounts. Before that, capital accounts are Arun, Tarun, and Varun. But we have already paid to Varun. Nothing is due to Varun. So only two partners, Arun and Tarun. So Arun's capital 119,633 and Tarun's capital 77,380. That's it. Liability is completed. Now come to asset side. Freehold premises. Freehold premises uh, balance sheet shows 75,000. But how much we have increased the freehold premises? 15,000. So 75,000 plus 15,000. It comes to 90,000. So here 90,000 freehold premises. Furniture and fitting 22,550 was the balance. From that we have deducted 10%. We have to reduce. 10% comes to 2255. So subtract 22,550 minus 2255. We get 20,295. Stock. We have not made any entry regarding stock. We have not changed the value of stock. So whatever stock 69,840. Same 69,840, no change. Debtors. Debtors are 29,600. But we have created provision for doubtful debts. How much is the provision for doubtful debts? 1,480. So from debtors, subtract 1,480, you will get 28,120. Bills receivable was 10,000. We have not made any change regarding bills receivable. Same bills receivable, 10,000. Lastly, cash at bank. We should not take the cash at bank given 24,635. That is the old balance. After making all adjustment, the current bank balance is 15,383. Take 15,383. That's all. All the items we have taken. Now find out the total on the liability side and asset side. Liability side total 2,33,638. Same, 2,33,638. Tallied, balance sheet tallied. So this is the problem on retirement of a partner. So, so far 19 problems we have completed. Inshallah in the next video we will start the next problem 20th.